So in the crit, so in the stage six full game, full how do you? I don't even know bad my Danish words. Jacob takes the line. Then oh look at look how close that was. Look how close that. Well, I mean that's like fuck man. What is that? An inch? Is that an inch there? So you got Jacob, Aru, and the behind Froome, and you can see Port there racing very aggressively, more aggressively. Those two really graced aggressively. Froome had, doesn't have his head really that low, but he's still right up there, isn't he? These guys really threw their bikes. Froome is riding normally. So Froome, in my opinion, he's got some serious motherfucking form. Because look at that. Froome didn't even throw his bike, didn't even get his head down. He look, he let these guys win. Here we go, here we go. Froome gifted this the, the stage. He let them win. Look, <laughs> look. Froome's not even letting his... Like, he's just not even, that's, that's what I mean. Froome is next fucking level. This is stage six. I can't show the video footage because the ASO are copyright cunts and they don't understand copyright law. But anyway, so Froome is trying, but he's not sprinting. So he did let these guys win. Um, Aru out there and uh, Port in the yellow jersey. So Aru looks like his usual self, quite tanned. Um, Valverde. Valverde is the best rider in the world, really. He is the best rider in the world. You know, year in, year out for the last 15 years. Fast, not so, not the best, I should say, the fastest all-round rider in the world. Because fastest doesn't always mean the best. Um, Contador fatigued. They're looking lean. They're looking like me. And I don't even do these mileages. Imagine if I trained like a pro. I'd get too lean. Um, so we have De Ghent lost the yellow jersey. He did pretty well, though. He, he held, held it for many days. But today we see the GC big dogs come into play. And uh, although the Gant was a GC big dog back in 2012, I'd say he'd be on a different program to uh, what some of the other guys are doing. So Contador's doing that little upper body swing, his telltale sign. He, he turns that front wheel a lot, doesn't he? But valverde has got it right. valverde has got it right. He's got better technique than Contador. Contador's got the, the genetics and the skill, but Valverde's technique's a lot better. You see how his bike is straight? He rocks it side to side, side to side. Contador... Uses his bike's normally upright, and he sort of rocks side to side. So Contador could get some more watts uh, for longer if he stopped turning his fucking bike like a paper boy. I remember riding with Contador back in 20, 2005 before he was a big dog. He won a stage up to longer. Richie Port enjoying his top. I would say people say, "Do you think Richie could win the Tour?" I'd say no. I say he's got the talent for. It. He's got the uh, not the talent. I should say he's got the blood values. He's got the the wattages for it and talent. I guess he's got the skill. Um, but I, don't, I personally don't think Richie is mature enough yet to deal with the pressures on social media or in the media if you're leading Tour de France. Um, I think it would be good though if you did get up there, mix it up with Froome, and we see some for some extra racing. But Froome, no one's going to come close to Froome this year. Nobody. Uh, Jacob wins it. So Froome there. Froome's looking pretty skinny, isn't he? I know he watches my videos. Maybe he's carving the fuck up, but he's got some good form. But I would say that his intent's slow. Um, let's have a look at the GC. Let's have a look at the GC for the OCDs and ADD people. We have boom, boom, boom. General the GC after stage six in the 2017 Dauphiné Criterium. Richie Port and 39 seconds behind his Froome dog Jacob is up there. 115 Valverde the Evergreen 120 down. This is after. 20 hours of racing? Wow. Uh, you know what I mean? 39 seconds separates after 20 hours. This is how tight cycling is, man. Contador, Martin, Bardet's there. Yates is there. Talansky. Talansky's always around that you know, 10% down. Chavez is there. But we see, I mean, this is this is, this is is basically where your form is now. You know, how long have we got to Tour de France time? Like a couple of weeks. So this is these are the guys who are going to be contenders for the Tour. Um, these are going to be the contenders. And I, I'm all my money... All my bananas is on Froome Dog again. All you know, the, the favourites, the, the underdogs would be Port, would be Valverde, <clears throat> Aru. I think Aru's got the the ego to win a tour. Contador, I think he's more got the money, trying to you know ride off the train a bit. I, I don't think Contador's got in him to get another Grand Tour. Um, in my opinion, this is not hating or sledging. This is just my opinion. Just comments, armchair critic comments from Durham Rider. But uh, it's going to be interesting tour to France. My money's in front, dog. Cadence, carbs, spin to win.